In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can complete a critical success check on your Google Ads account in under three minutes. Yes, that's right, I'm gonna show you in under three minutes how you can check what you need to optimize in your Google Ads account next. I've developed this process of how to quickly diagnose what you need to optimize in your Google Ads account because when you're optimizing upwards of 50 different accounts at any different time, you're not able to spend hours upon hours of trying to find what is wrong with your Google Ads account so that you know the correct next optimization steps that you need to take on your Google Ads campaign. Because let's face it, until you actually know what the actual issues are in your Google Ads account, you can't start to put together a proper optimization process so that you can get your Google Ads account profitable as fast as possible. So if you're a freelancer currently managing multiple Google Ads accounts, or you're working in a digital agency, or if you're running the Google Ads account for your own business and you just want a quick way to know what you need to check in your Google Ads account, you need to watch this video right now. But just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And this is my YouTube channel where I share all of my skills and strategies to show you how you can manage and create successful Google Ads campaigns and by successful, I mean profitable. And these are strategies which I've learned and tested since I've been running Google Ads campaigns since 2010. So if you wanna learn more about Google Ads and how you can use it to build a business and make more money, why don't you give me a quick subscribe right now? Thank you so much. Now the three minute critical success check that I'm about to show you is a check that you can run on all of your search, shopping and display campaigns. But for this to work the best, you need to make sure that you have the correct campaign and ad group structure. And to make sure that you do, if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm gonna give you some extra videos where you can go through and watch to make sure that you have the correct campaign and account structure for your Google Ads shopping and your Google Ads search campaigns. And to complete your three minute Google Ads critical success check, we're gonna be using two different features in the Google Ads dashboard, which is the segment function, and then also the main Google Ads dashboard overview. So right now, let's go through the step-by-step -step process that you need to complete in order to check your Google Ads accounts in under three minutes. So when you're in Google Ads, you wanna to go to this main overview section. And if you're not there, you just go through and click on overview. Now you can filter this down by different ad groups and campaigns, but what I like to do is I like to actually have a check on all of my current campaigns in Google Ads, so I don't add in any extra filters here. And the reason for that is because when we're looking at this first step in the Google Ads dashboard, is I'm just wanting to check my total account performance and get a really quick view of how it is performing. Now if I'm running an account that has some shopping campaigns, I'll firstly click on cost, click-through ratio, and then conversion value and conversion value cost, which is a ROAS metric or a return on ad spend metric. However, if I'm running a campaign that only has search and display campaigns, I'll change these last two boxes over to conversions and then also cost per conversion. And what I like to do is I like to look at your last month's performance or you can do your previous 30 days. And then I wanna use this compare function. And by using this compare function, what this actually does is that this is actually comparing my results from March through to February. So it's looking at how March performed versus February. And what you can see really, really quickly is that this is letting me know that we saw an increase in our click-through ratio, we saw an increase in our conversion value, and most importantly, we saw an increase in our ROAS, or our conversion value cost. So from a very quick glance, with nothing else, I can see that March performed a lot better than what February did. And then also too, if I wanted to dive into any further metrics, I can just really quickly change this over. So I can go through and have a look at our clicks. I can then also go through and have a look at our impressions. And also too, if I wanted to have a look at our average CPC, I can look at this metric as well. And by using this main dashboard view, it allows me to very, very quickly run a quick diagnosis on the total account. Now on this account, it's been performing very well and we saw an increase in our performance. So this lets me know that I just need to go on and continue on my current optimization schedule. But however, for example, if we had seen a decrease in our conversion value or a decrease in our ROAS, but we'd also seen that our click-through ratio and our cost had stayed stable, we could quickly look at some potential issues. Now, usually one of those biggest issues is our cost per click. Now, in this case, the cost per click has gone down, but let's just say our conversion value had gone down by 25%. And then we go through and have a look and we could see that our cost per click had also gone up by 25%. That lets us know that yes, our conversion value has gone down, but we know the exact reason for that, and that is because we've seen this cost per click increase by 25%. And by looking at that metric, we know that the issue is, is that we've seen extra competitors come into the market, which has been driving the cost per click up. 
Or for example, for another scenario, if we saw that our conversion value had gone down by 10%, but then we also looked at our click-through ratio had gone down by about 10 to 15%, we then know that the potential issues would be relating to our ad copy or our keyword quality score. So you can see by just by playing around with some of these different metrics and looking at the comparison of how they performed over the previous 30 days, it gives us some very clear insights into what could be the potential issues in our account. So that's the first step, is that we wanna get an overview of the total account to see how it's performing. The next step in what we wanna be doing is we wanna go through and actually use the segment function. And to do that, we go into the campaign section. And then from there, we go into this segment function. And when we click on segment, we wanna go down into conversions and conversion action. Now, what this is telling me straight away is that this actually lets me know how each individual campaign is performing. And now what I can see through here is I can not only see the individual conversion actions, but we can also see the cost per conversion and the conversion rate of the different individual campaigns. And then if you scroll down to the bottom of this table, you can actually see all enabled campaigns. You can see the cost per conversion rate and the conversion rate and the average cost. And then what you need to do, so if we take the metric, for example, cost per conversion, we can see that the total account has been performing at $22. We can see that this campaign has been performing at $18, so we know that's a good campaign. We can see that this campaign is at $15, and then we see the problem one here, is that this one is at $149. Whereas once again, the others are at 23, 20, 22, and 26. So we can see from this account, there's only two campaigns that are highly above this average of $22, which is this one here, and this $26 here. So this check very quickly lets me know which of the individual campaigns which I need to be focusing on the most so that we can quickly increase the total performance of our account. And then once we've identified the campaigns that we need to focus on, we can just go into those individual campaigns and then from there, it's just a matter of going through our individual optimization process. So for this one in here, we can see that we've got a high cost per conversion rate. So I can go into my Google Ads optimization checklist and start to run through these individual processes so that we can start to go through and increase the performance of this individual campaign. Now, if you would like to be able to get your own copy of my Google Ads optimization checklist so that you know exactly which optimization actions you need to complete every 72 hours, every week, every month and every 90 days, you just need to go over to this URL here, which is defineddigitalacademy.com and then Google Ads Checklist. And then this is where you can request to get your very own copy of your own Google Ads Optimization Checklist. And what I'll even do is I'll put this URL in the description below so that you can easily go through and get your very own Google Ads Optimization Checklist. So there it is. That is the step-by-step -step process that you can use to complete a critical success check on your Google Ads account in under three minutes. Now remember, as I said at the start of this video, is that this critical success process works best when you have the correct structure for your campaigns and your ad groups for your Google Ads shopping and your Google Ads search campaigns. Now if you'd like to know how to correctly set up your Google Ads shopping campaigns with the correct structure, I want you to go through and watch this video right here. Or if you wanna learn more about how to set up your correct campaigns and ad groups for your Google Ads search campaign, go through and watch this video right here. As always, thank you for watching and remember to give my channel a quick subscribe so you know whenever I release a new teaching video. See ya.